If you want to have the perfect quiff, then you have come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the best products to use and the products to avoid. I thought this was a, a good idea to do because when I'm talking about hairstyles and how to do them, we quite often uh, sort of prescribe products to use, but actually it's about finding the right type of product. So this video should help to um, sort of allow you to use the products that you have at home and also tell you the products not to use for the quiff. Now, see, I'm gonna try these across various different things. So looking at solutions for, say like texture or smoothing or something like the pomp or a slick back. So we can look into various bits of hairstyle. So make sure you subscribe right now. The button will be just below this video and that bell button. Switch it on, push it, and you'll get a notification as soon as I upload. Right, so for this hairstyle, like most of the hairstyles I do, I'm gonna split it into three parts. Prep for the sort of pre-styling stage, the styling stage, that's where you start to sort of define and really get that style to where you want. And then the fixing or finishing stage, really just to finesse and to perfect. For the pre-styling stage, really we want to be getting volume in. So this is all about the big, huge quiff, messy or sort of structured, but you want it to be big. So, products that I would say to use are mousses, mousses or foams, anything which is activated by a hairdryer. And that's gonna help you to build this structure. Um, I absolutely love the Bumble and Bumble one. This is amazing. If you wanna go slightly lower down in budget, Feel 5, do also quite a good one too. This one is an aerosol. This one is just more like a pump action. And um, Kevin Murphy, Anti-Gravity, they do some amazing products. Slightly more expensive, but it is all sort of paraben free, sulfate free, all the free stuff. So if you are looking for something like that, this is amazing. And American Crew also do some really great mousse products. And um, all these products that you're seeing in this video are on manfromself.com in the products pages. This will help you really pick out products that suit you and your budget, so don't worry if some of these aren't the ones you have. I would say in products not to use, and this is almost slightly more important, you're looking for to not use products that are, um, that are too fine in the hair. So you don't want anything that's gonna smooth it too much. You don't want anything that's gonna add a weighty texture. So I would say avoid a sea salt spray. Um, I love sea salt sprays, and actually you do tend to get great volume and texture but it's the kind of volume and texture that tends not to stay. So maybe avoid those. Also things like thickening tonics or smoothing tonics are great to plump the hair, but they're not gonna do too much on structure. Let's go with the fiber grooming foam by American Crew, but it's more like a mousse. It's actually a bit like a hybrid product. You can see there, mousse products will come out like this. You'll get it into either towel dried or damp hair. Mine is freshly washed, so we're good to go. No product build up in this. Get it right through, root to tip. Love this product though, look. Foamy goodness. There we go, oh wow. She is a sticky one. Here we go, oh, that's it. Less is more when it comes to this, guys. If you're gonna go overboard like I'm about to do, then the hair's gonna be weighted, it's gonna be saturated. So with these sort of products, they're generally activated by hairdryer. Now, a hairdryer will speed up what you're trying to do. It kind of activates the products and allows you to build that volume. Also, hair dryers are perfect for building the volume and to direct the hair. So you want to decide, do you want your hair to go left? Do you want it to go right? As I've said in sort of videos from the beginning of time with me here, um, Styling the way that against the way that your hair grows is gonna build that, that extra volume because so the hair is gonna push back on itself. Styling the way that it grows is great for natural volume, but the hair tends to drop. So we're gonna go against the way that it grows. We're gonna do a medium heat, we're gonna do a fast speed, we're gonna work the hair up just with my hands. When your hair is wet, use your hands. Just before it's totally dry, you can get a brush or a comb in, but brushes and combs in damp and wet hair can be damaging. So the whole thing I'm gonna do just my hands. I'm gonna work up, over it and through. Huge volume, you can see that's actually uh, almost too much, but we will be sorting it with the styling product. Um, this is weightless, so it means that the hair is not super heavy, it's not gonna drop, but it does have enough sort of root lift in order for us to take it across. And um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna finish drying this, I'm gonna take it down to a cold blast, so using the cool shot button on the hairdryer. If you don't have that, just take your temperature right down, 
and that's going to help to seal the cuticle of the hair, which is the outer layer of the hair, which makes it flat. And in making it flat, it, um, it ups the shine of the hair and it also allows it then to be styled. If your hair is styled when it's hot, when it cools, it tends to drop. So style your hair when it's cool. Top tip. Okay, the hair is cool, it is volumized, and it is uh, very much looking in that quiff form. Now, you could leave it now, you could go out, but I guarantee the hair will drop. So what we're gonna do is grab, grab a styling product. This really helps us sort of to find the hair and allow that quiff to be built and to be set. So, firstly, products to not use. You don't want anything too shiny, anything too heavy, any of those sort of traditional pomades, anything that's gonna set the hair. So you see stuff like a grease, avoid that. That's gonna weigh the hair down. Fantastic for uh, looks that are gonna be close to your head, but not to build in that PC texture and structure that we want. And um, also gel products, not ideal. If anything, this is better as a finishing product for this, just to kind of sweep over the ends of the hair or really the surface of the hair to kind of cement it. But products to use, think matte products, just because I think they work better with a sort of more contemporary modern hairstyle. And um, also matte products tend to make the hair look bigger and thicker. They tend to sort of plump the hair or at least give the illusion of that. And um, also uh, products which have a good hold, a malleable hold, but a good hold. So some favorites of mine. I love this one and I know that you guys that have been on manfromstuff.com, you've left your reviews and you're enjoying it. This is Sheer Revival Northern Lights Matte Paste. Probably like one of the best ones I think from Sheer Revival, but just drop that. Um, just a really great product that holds, but isn't super solid. Or a new favorite of mine, which is Evo Box of Bollocks. And this is a paste. Uh, it's a paste with a really low shine, so it's a matte finish but a super high hold and a hold that stays, that can still be worked. And um, also this is water-based, so it washes out so easily. And I'm gonna use this one for the hair. Right, as with all hair products, we're gonna layer it. Don't be taking out a whole scoop and goop of it and be getting it, scoop and gooping, and be getting it into your hair because it is gonna weigh it down and it's gonna mess that style. So, just taking about that amount first, into the hands and emulsify. Emulsify kind of changing the state of the hair. This product also smells incredible. Evo is another Australian hair care brand, much like the Kevin Murphy that I spoke about in the pre-study. And they, I think, are just ahead of it in terms of ingredients that they use um, and also just like products that deliver and have amazing performance. Okay, brushing back to front for full coverage. There you go, and you're thinking, but you've just added all that volume in. Why are you doing that? The volume is still there, it's still in the hair. Now, I'm gonna use the rest of the products in the hands, or grab a little bit more, and I'm gonna scoop. You scoop in, up and over, really picking up from the roots, just to get that quiff style back in. You can be as rough as you like, and it's at that point I would start to add a little bit more product in once you've got it off your hands and a little bit less this time onto it just with your index finger and your thumb pick up piece and move over you can also put in a little bit of a part if you want it to be slightly neater so looking here i'm going to take it onto that recession line so that is the recession kind of where the hair will go back and also where you start to lose your hair that will push back i'm just going to piece I want this to be loose and easy, not super regimented, using the heel of my hand just to smooth. And again, you can just work and piece the front and the back. I think with a, a quiff, kind of what's the difference with a quiff and a pompadour? Pompadour is more regimented and very structured with a high shine, more with that sort of retro 1950s look, whereas a quiff is just slightly looser it's slightly more relaxed and you can kind of go with something that is slightly messier. So don't be shy to work in that texture just with your hands and your fingers. And if you do want to add a bit more movement to the sides, heels of the hand, break it up slightly and push it back. But actually, I'm, I'm happy with that. You can see loads of volume, especially into the front, slightly flatter on the back. My hair has been cut, cut, cut 
shorter in the back than in the front, and I'm good with that. And just with the back, literally just pushing down. Then we're on to fixing or finishing. You've got two options here. One which you might think is not actually fixing or finishing, and that would be it. But I would say you'd grab a little bit more of whatever styling product you had, especially if it's got a great hold, and you would just really get it sorted around the ears. Or you can grab a hairspray and ensure that it's not going to move. And I would say, if you're going to use a hairspray, it's got to be a high hold hairspray. None of this touchable, movable stuff. Lnet, like one of the most popular hair um, hairsprays, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm like, if you're going to use a hairspray, it's not going to move. So, my favourite, well as African classic, maximum hold, three pounds. This is great. Spray, missed it. Right onto the front of that quiff, top, back, and if you want, for any flyaways, onto the hands, light misting, tap, 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 tap. Not a styling product, it's a fixing or finishing product. And like so. And that is absolutely it. Really, the quiff and the products that are perfect for it. Products that are gonna build volume in the pre-styling stage. Products that are gonna be matte and build structure in the styling phase. And then in your finishing phase, either your same styling product or a hairspray just to fix it in place. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, something a little bit different, putting more of a focus on the products rather than in the styling. Because it all comes down to what's available to you, uh, what you like doing with your hair, and just mixing with different product combinations to really get a style that works for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'd say I am gonna link the product pages because it is seriously like a Bible of products here. There's so much going on, also the best prices around constantly updated to find new stuff and also kind of like all the reviews that we do and um, be it uh, YouTube ones or sort of written ones and the reviews from you guys are all hosted on those pages so go and check them also if you're new to my channel you've not yet pressed subscribe then you're gonna press it press it right now the button is just there there's also more video suggestions down there stay on me and watch them head to the products pages are there all the social including my Instagram up there but I'll see you in my next video bye bye